Hey guys, Jason here with Roar3D Solutions again. I uh, have a, uh, a must-have if you are needing a, a city uh, rig for anything. Uh, this is a just a simple mail truck that you can inject right into a city scene, uh, set it on the ground, drive it around, whatever you need to do. Uh, so if you're working on some kind of a city type of rig, this is a, a very important model that you're probably going to want. Uh, you can pick it up at our website, Roar3DSolutions.com or CG Trader. So without further ado, we'll talk real quick about the rig, but it's very, very simple. There's not a whole lot going on here. So what you have first off is it is rendering right now just to show you uh, what it'll look like in a render. I am using it under the physical render with the HDRI rig, thanks to uh, uh, Grayscale Gorilla. Um, and so let's let's talk about it so what we have here first and foremost is the normal level detail in the render which i always recommend to be at least at at a two or greater and the level detail in the, the editor which you can also adjust if you really desire to see the the subdivision uh, it is made in quads so it's going to be a clean hierarchy and it's going to render out real nice uh, have some very uh, smooth curves um, i have uh, uh, rivets that are built into the model. You can hide those just to make your life easier in the in the uh, viewport. Uh, and I kind of leave that as a default hide. Uh, and you can also hide the interior, which is just a means of, of making life a little bit quicker and easier uh, whenever you're getting things ready. And when you do that, it doesn't affect the render. So it's important to note that. So it's easy, uh, just hide it, forget about it, don't worry about it. And if you have a you know a driver inside the vehicle, you can just let them do their thing. So uh, in addition to that, we have the window wipers, which operate only when the timeline is active, and will shut off once you deactivate them. Uh, you also have the steering wheel, which is also going to be matched again with the wheels, as always. Uh, you have the driver door, which is a slider opens and closes the passenger door which is also a slider and opens and closes uh, the rear door which is a little bit more complicated I'm using a, a bend deformer to be able to make it look like uh, basically a garage door so it'll fold right up real neat and uh, and kind of hug right inside uh, uh, right inside as a roll-up door would actually operate uh, and then, you know, all the normal stuff like you have interior lights, uh, if I deselect this, things get slow, so just remember that. I, I like to keep the, uh, the lights hidden. I encourage it. So if you hide the lights, you have interior lighting, which is just exactly as it sounds. It includes the, the lights on the interior that kind of shine, give you a nice uh, uh, render. And then you have your blinkers. Again, your blinkers only function when the timeline is active. So if the timeline is not active, the blinkers will not work. So if you're, you know, making a scene, and, and you can see here, as I continue the timeline, but I deselected them, they'll continue to blink. What happens is that they just disappear. Uh, they're they're no longer visible in the in the editor uh, or the renderer whenever you've deselected that within the Expresso. So I'm going to go rehide these lights, and we'll take a fast look at the rig so you can see it. Uh, here it is in the Expresso. Yeah, like I said, it's not a terribly complicated rig. This is actually uh, very straightforward. And uh, so last things, uh, well, the last thing that I'd like to do, let's go ahead and uh, turn the headlights off, drop the interior lights down. And right now my computer is having a little bit of a hard time and it's not actually disengaging the, uh, the lights. So that's an unfortunate thing that I'll have to uh, fix the bug for. Uh, but if I drop down to the level detail in the, the editor, you'll see, <laughs> I'll grab the entire object here. Sorry, right now I'm having a little bit of a computer hiccup. Okay, there we go. Life is better. We're back on track. So uh, 
as you pull and push the vehicle around, the wheels will also rotate. So uh, just kind of a nice, easy feature when you're uh, trying to follow, say, like uh, a line to a spline. And as it moves, it will automatically rotate the wheels. So, so that's it. Simple, quick, and easy uh, mail truck. Again, available at North 3 Solutions or at CG Trader. And as always, happy modeling.